Hello YouTube, it's me Brittany and this video is going to be all about debunking the anti-transgender athlete arguments that have been coming at me since my video I made last week. Which BTW, the video that I made last week, if you have not seen it, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Whether you like me or not, please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and look at the video I made last week. It's basically just said that I'm a transgender athlete and all I really want is to play. And it basically gave my own personal perspective and then my own personal opinion on how the transgender athlete issue should be handled. Now, after doing some research this week, turns out the option that I provided, you know, which everybody says is horrible and wrong, you know, in my comments, which, you know, I'm going to get to that, why you guys are wrong. Um, but first off, um, the option I provided was basically that transgender athletes have to wait a certain period of time while they're on hormones before they progress until they pass a certain amount of tests and they can compete as the gender they identify as, just as I did personally myself. Um, I competed as a boy for almost 18 months while transitioning and starting hormone replacement therapy before I could pass tests and be legally change my gender which has to be done. You to, in order to legally change your gender, you have to go to a doctor. They have to say, hey, yeah, this is a woman. This is not a man. And then you also have to go to a psychiatrist who has to say, yeah, this is a woman. This is not a man. Um, so, like, it's not like a simple, easy process. Like, one of my favorite arguments that they that I hear all the time, which makes no sense whatsoever, is the same one that, you know, South Park used. And it basically said that, you know, uh, transgender uh, uh, male to female like myself can just say, hey, I'm a woman, and then the next day show up to compete in women's sports. And it never has ever, ever worked that way. And there's never been a single case of a transgender woman who specifically transitioned to compete. That is never ever been heard of. First off, there's a reason why you go through a whole bunch of psychological evaluations before you can legally change your gender is because they're trying to weed that kind of crap out. It just doesn't happen. I did not even honestly, when I first started to transition, I thought my life as an athlete was going to be over. I thought that because I'm a girl now, I, you know, you know, in the eyes of everybody else, they see, they'll see me as the girl that I am that, you know, it's not appropriate for me to want to be athletic because that is, really the real argument here that the anti-transgender athlete people are making. It has nothing really to do against transgender exclusion. It really has to, to talk about the facts that they believe that women are too inept to be competitive in sports. And I'm stealing that quote from an article I found um, from outsports.com written by Carly Webb. I'm going to link that into this uh, video as well. Um, a lot of some of these arguments are going to uh, correspond with what uh, is written in the article so um, it's just a really good source for you guys to go look at um, but basically um, the whole argument that first off what 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 they do is they try to say oh that I'm not a woman so they're gonna say transgender man first off proper learn how to terminology learn your terminology did you say a transgender man competes against women, then that doesn't make any sense to me because a transgender man is a female to male transitioned man. That So that doesn't apply to me. I'm a transgender woman. So if you say, oh, a transgender woman, and that's the first way that they try to discredit all transgender athletes, and it's not all of them. It's just transgender female athletes that they're discrediting in this argument. So, and I'm, and I'm going to explain. So like, basically... What what they're saying at first is they say, hey, look, transgender man competes against women and, and beats them. So when you read that article, you don't see the person they're writing as as what they actually are. So they're not a man. They are a woman. Transgender women are women. And for if you want to say that I'm not a woman, then I want you to meet my hormonal standards, which meet the every single day as, a, uh, as every other cisgender woman that's out there. So if you meet my hormonal standards and you're a man and you're telling me I'm a man, then then okay. I'll agree with you, but I don't. Here are the normal hormonal standard numbers for men. Testosterone levels sit anywhere from around 180 to 290. That's a normal cisgendered man's testosterone levels. Your estrogen levels sit anywhere from around a 5 to a 35. Now, a normal cisgendered woman, her estrogen levels sit anywhere from around 187 to 380. So, and then their testosterone levels for a cisgendered woman, because believe it or not, 
Every single body out there has testosterone in it and every single body out there has estrogen in it. So a normal testosterone level for a cisgender woman is anywhere from 2 to 45. My levels, my levels sit on the extremely low end for a woman because my testosterone levels are only around an 18 as of April this year. And my estrogen levels are around 220. So I actually sit ext sit right around the normal system. So don't tell me I'm a man because I just proved to you medically that that's not true. Um, so there, there's first debunking your first argument, calling me a man or calling any transgender woman out there a man. Because first off, the rules in NCAA state that you have to go under, be under testosterone um, replacement therapy for a minimum of a year before you can compete as the female gender, especially for a male to female transgender athlete like myself. And you can look up cases, this is another thing that they do. They don't tell you the whole truth. They're gonna say, oh, this girl is competing in NCAA uh, women's and she's winning. Okay, well, they didn't tell you that she came into school as a freshman, decided to transition. She sat out on a full school year of competition while she, comp while she pro processed her transition and went through testosterone replacement and hormone replacement therapy. And then she comp came back to, to, to compete and, and was able to compete now that she identified hormonally, medically, um, at, with the gender that she identifies. So like, the whole that that it just does they just continue to lie 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 to you and 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 so if you're going to use all these arguments with me they don't mean anything because I, I already know that they're coming from false pretenses and you don't really understand what you're talking about now let's get to the actual real agenda here the real agenda that is the anti-transgender athlete argument is really just, they say, oh, we're trying to support women, we're trying to support women, but they're not. What they're trying to say is that women are not capable of competing. They shouldn't be competitive. So if somebody who's transgender and maybe at one point had te more testosterone in their system than, than the women they're competing against now, but they no longer do, that testosterone from the past obviously makes them a better athlete than, than the woman before because women were just not capable of being athletic to begin with. So th let, that's, let's get over this fact that, oh, we're trying to protect women. No, it's not that. It's, it's we're trying to bring women back down by saying that these women, that because they're slightly different, they're better than you. And that's not the case because no woman is better than the other, whether they're trans or cis. Every woman is unique. Uh, but anyways, and the reason for this argument, the reason I can, you know, we can back this argument is because they don't ever bring up a transgender man. And there are many, many, many successful transgender male athletes. These are athletes that identify as male that were born female. So like, but they've gone through hormone replacement therapy. They've done the full year process of waiting before they can compete as a boy. Passed the multiple tests before they can compete as a boy. Now they're competing as a boy. They're successful. But you don't hear these arguments because they don't meet up with the actual agenda that's being pushed by the anti-transgender athlete movement. Which is women are not capable of being competitive. That's the real movement. Transgender athletes like myself, we're not pushing anything. This was never an issue until one, two, maybe three years ago when the anti-transgender people made it an issue that it didn't need to be. They created these false arguments that were not real saying that, you know, a man can just transition to, to and, and the next day later be, com you know, be competing against women. It doesn't work. Or that a man would transition to only be competitive. You know, um, somebody commented on my video that said that the only reason a transgender woman would, would, would compete against women is because they couldn't cut it as a man. That's fucking 100% false. I was an all-state wrestler, an all-state cross-country wrestler, or, or cross-country runner, a four-year varsity athlete. I played soccer for 15 years on varsity as well for that. Um, um, I, I played baseball. Uh, I, I uh, tried out for... Um, Farm League, Minor League Baseball, didn't make it, but I was an actually a very successful male athlete. Now, I transitioned and none of those skills progressed on. Like the only skills that progressed on, the only skills that are, that transgender athletes, that a male to female transgender athlete might have over a, a general cisgendered female athlete, the only thing is the fact that because they were raised as a boy, it was acceptable for them to be athletic. So they were allowed to learn sports. They were allowed to be 
um, you know, at, you know, at, to get better at sports. Whereas I know for a fact, my little sister, you know, was an excellent track athlete when she was younger. Excellent. But as she got older, she was told because she's a girl, she needs to be doing certain things else. So she left that. She doesn't do that. She went on to be a cheerleader. Not that cheerleaders aren't athletes. That's still very much an athletic sport. But there's 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 just a difference, you know, in the what girls are expected, what's expected of girls as what's expected of boys. So if there's any advantage that a transgender male to female athlete that, that like myself has over any other female athlete, it's that I was raised by a father who pushed me to be a successful athlete, made me practice, made me to be, made me want to be competitive. Whereas my sister was not given those opportunities, and many other women were never ever given that opportunity. So comes all the way back around to what the actual real argument here is: women don't belong in sports, and that's why these men and these anti-trans, uh, LT, LGBT, and anti-transgender arguments are coming out saying, "Oh, transgender athletes are are ruining women." sports that, that they didn't they didn't want women's sports to begin with that's the real argument here so um i mean it's just it just doesn't make any sense to me so like i've really just kind of lined out every single thing here kind of debunking every little bit of your arguments here that make no fucking sense except for one thing and some people keep saying, oh, I'm super wrong for this. But if, if, if you think that I'm wrong for saying that you want to put transgender athletes in a separate league to compete instead of letting them compete just how they've been competing until you created this issue uh, two years ago. Like, if you think that segregating athletes is an acceptable answer... Then uh, and 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 then then you obviously know that it's wrong when I tell you and I remind you of the Negro Leagues, and I am no way comparing transgender fight to the African American flight in this or plight or you know fight in this country for civil rights. There's they do not compare in any form or fashion. However, segregation is segregation, whether it's between race or gender identity or not. So as soon as you start saying, oh, let's put transgender athletes in these separate leagues, I, I'm going to point you out to your taking steps back for civil rights by segregating athletes. It doesn't work that way. Um, it's just not the right way. I've, the answer's already been lined out by many rules. Athletes, transgender athletes have to go undergo multiple tests. They have to undergo... Uh, sometimes more than a year of hormone replacement therapy before they can be competitive and if they want to compete on the world stage many of them have to be completely gone through the full surgical transformation completely so it's just a bunch of false information that's being provided to you guys and you and you keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it when the, in the real truth all we are are just women who want to compete we're just men who are out here trying to compete, don't forget, there's transgender men out there. That is female to male men who are out there just trying to compete because we like to compete. Being competitive is what makes us a part of who we are. So, you know, there. That's pretty much said it. Whether you like it or not, I know some of you guys are going to comment. I don't really care. I actually appreciate every comment you give me. Um, if you're just going to say hate and full of meaningful things, I'll probably just delete it. If you got an argument, I'll let it stay. Because honestly, I like your interaction. It helps my page grow. Speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and please subscribe now. Um, don't forget to like this video dislike it. I don't really care. It wasn't for you. I'm just trying to put the argument out there that you guys are fucking wrong in most of this and that I'm not trying to push any agenda. I just want to fucking play. Anyways, I love you guys. We'll talk to you guys all later. Bye-bye.